you know, I don't do reversals, but release your exes in reverse. So I feel there is definitely someone not willing to let go and wants to come back because obviously the separation, love yourself first and children. So this, for a lot of you, this is a long time connection and you both have children here together. Um, so you're still interacting. So this, this is why it's a redemption, right? Because it's only a redemption if there's history and here there's history so in this time of choosing you this person wants to come back we have engagement and it's to really come back back like you know they know they have to build trust there's still love here with the passion card i still feel like you know they're not ready to let this go so let's see what spirit obviously when something like this happens then it's because we've had conflict right but Let's see what's going on with this energy spirit and the bees or Sag. Right away, the two energies that fell out was High Priestess, six, the High Priestess, and Six of Cups, Memories of Love, which means you. There's a lot of thinking, very much in their mind, um, very much missing you, very much thinking about you, Sagittarius, or mutual. We have the star, right? So there's a need, a, a, a desire to heal, um, a desire to hopeful to get back together. We have moving on. I feel that's the energy of loving yourself first. So this had to happen. And then we have throat chakra. This is a communication. This is a conversation. This isn't, this is to me feels like unfinished business. This is not done. You guys will still talk about things, of course, because there are children involved here. So give me more on this High Priestess, please, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely long-term. Four of Wands. This isn't over. You know, Queen of Pentacles. This isn't over. You know, you guys could be dealing with the Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Give me more on this Memories of Love. Yeah, Four of Cups, Regret. Leo season may be an important energy, or you could be dealing with the Leo, but here we have the Sun. And there's some level of um, sadness, you know, depression, I feel, but maybe just really hurt that they, that, you know, they're not happy, basically. Memories of love, there's a lot of memories here. There's a lot of... Um, it's like bittersweet. It's a lot of just a lot of memories here, I feel. Okay, more of this hope, right? The star. Yeah, the world. They want to come back and look who's here. Queen, King of Pentacles. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. That means this is a, a definitely long-term couple, married, right? And it's like they're hopeful to be able to come back and make this work out. Give me more of this world. I want to clarify the world here. Wow, the ending, Ten of Swords. They're very emotionally hurt by this. Give them all the world. And definitely want to give it another chance. Yep, communication. Page of Wands. They definitely want to give it another chance. You know, there's a lot of regret with this Five of Swords, the fights. Um, give them all this moving on. Nine of Wands, of course you will be resistant. The devil, whatever happened with this devil energy, you know, you had to release them. That something was hidden on the moon. There was a lot of, un, uh, you know, there was probably lack of trust here is what I'm feeling. Give me more of this devil. And that's why you had to love yourself first, Sagittarius. Wow, hi to die. Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. So someone had a little bit of a flirty, flirtatious energy. There was probably some cheating involved. Knight of Wands. Give me more of this Knight of Wands. We have King of Pentacles. Strong? Wow, guys. Seriously, strong earth sign. But 
there's there was there's an energy of being disloyal and uh, not trusting now whether it really happens is all you guys know right you know where the energy lies and what the story is i feel like spirit doesn't really want me to focus so much on that energy it's more about where this energy is emotionally give more throat chakra yeah page of pentacles i mean throat chakra with page of pentacles I think you're questioning how committed they are. I mean, we've got back the King of Wands again. And Sag, this is you too. So if it's you, you guys know where the shoe fits. But questioning how committed you are. Uh, Game on the page of Pentacles. What's this investment, right? What is there? Is the investment? Game on this page of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't know what this is. The moon. You don't know if this conversation really is three of they want to reconcile, right? Three of cups. Three more on this page of pentacles. You don't know how committed they're gonna be. Yeah, Emperor energy and the five of pentacles. You don't know if they'll abandon the situation again. You don't know if they're actually going to be this emperor. You know, death energy and the judgment. Wow. And the Ten of Cups. You guys can, you know, go another round with this person. Because there's children involved. Ten of Cups. I just feel like the resistance is because we have kids. You know, we have, we've had a life. This is a couple that's had a life. There's a lot of there's stuff at stake. But at the same time, there is history here. History. I want to pull for this release your ex specifically with another deck. Sorry, game on this release your ex. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. So someone definitely cut someone away. This could indicate the third party. Give me one of this Queen of Wands. But you are a fire sign, so I don't know. Wow. Um, we've got Ten of Wands, a Chariot, the Queen of Swords. Someone Clearly someone cut someone off here. Um, there was a release. Truth came out. You have the ending death. Knight of Wands. So it could have been the cheating. Let me get more of this Ace of Swords bear. What is this true? Ace of Swords. Again, three of wands. So someone cheated in this case. I feel a lot of you, it is a cheating situation. Someone went outside of the connection. So this is a, definitely a challenge. But again, um, children involved. Your person is going to try to redeem themselves. This is unfinished business, unfortunately. But that's how it is when there's children involved. Sorry, what are the blockages for this connection? Yeah, free will. You get to make all of your decisions come from love. So understanding your free will, knowing you don't have to repeat the cycle with this person. And, you know, it's your free will if you do. Third party, they have a secret. So a lot of you, it is this third party. Let me pull another blockage. Yeah, remember who you are, where you come from. This is just coming back to yourself. And then with it, let go of the old and outdated. So for some of you, this behavior is already old and outdated. Maybe you guys had a few conversations already. And maybe even this redemption is like, I've heard it before. So, you know, there's a lot to decide on. You know, I, I, this to me, this energy feels like some of you are decided, decided, but some of you are still thinking about it, right? We're, it's still in our hearts, it's still in our mind space. We have children. All right, so what is the untold message here? What is the untold message of the heart of such a person? What's the untold message 
to the heart. Okay. Embarrassed. I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you now. That's the embarrassment from the situation, right? So they don't know how to redeem. Selfish. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. So obviously they love their family. They love their life with you. Um, they're realizing their selfish ways and know that they didn't give you the same in return and space. I need to take the step. I need to take a step back because I'm still trying to figure out what I want. So the love yourself first. I mean, Sag, the break is necessary is what I'm seeing. And you guys are all in different timelines. So maybe the break has happened. Conversations will happen. But this isn't, this is unfinished business. Um, emotions are still here. So um, that's, it's hard to say what the outcome is here because I feel like it's just one of those things where we're still processing. So let's see your guidance. Sag, compass. Yep, a compass guides you to go north. Your inner compass guides you to your highest good and your own path. Trust your own compass and don't doubt yourself. You're your best. You're your own best student and teacher instinct is real. So you're you're being guided to trust, um, to go your way, to figure yourself out, you know, to give yourself time and space to really get back into your own inner, your higher self for your higher good. And I feel this is where the clear mind will come in. What other guidance for Sagittarius? Yeah, Rocky Road. When the road gets rocky, overcome it or find a new path to your destination. And again, it's the same energy as the compass, right? So right now the rocky is the road is rocky. And in order to find, you know, there's a decision that needs to be made. So it's either a new path to your destination, to your own, loving yourself first, figuring it out with the kids, finding an amicable amicable place with your, you know. The mother of your child or the father the father of your children and allowing you both you both to just find your own way separately but not you know it not interfering the kids in in a way where um you know things like this get hairy because usually you know children get affected here and it's because the pain of the adults in are projected to the children and imposed on the children, which again is how we create generational trauma and generational pain. Some of it is subconsciously, some of it is consciously, right? We kind of just, you know, some, some people, you know, out of their own pain, in order to inflict pain on someone, we'll use the children. It's just so selfish, right? There are selfish energies here too. So this is this is a, this is a time to resolve first within. So I'm gonna leave it there, Sag. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.